speaking of hate, we got Game & Watch on deck. <laughs> and we got his, oh, he's using Robin. All right, let's see how this matchup goes. I, I'm not too sure, uh, but I, I think Game & Watch wins this matchup. Uh, I don't think he has a <laughs> anything like a good hitbox or, in, or any 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 frame fast enough to, to like stop his things, and then all his long range and all his stuff he can just absorb it. I mean, you are a gaming watch, me, aren't you, Javi? You know. And, and then what? Speaking of nasty stuff. Yeah, it's so good. But but not many people know this, or they don't know this. Any, they don't know this anymore. Uh, they know this now. That you can actually. Oh, he almost has deed. That you can actually uh, throw out a hitbox on the grenade and it'll just disappear. Yeah, you can just spare it. Right. <laughs> Not enough side B's, bro. <laughs> oh, well. Bro, we need a down smash counter. <laughs> oh, enough B counter. Oh, threw the sword at him. What? Oh, right, 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 right. But it's his. Yeah. Oh, good up there. Let's see if Raven can bring him back. Oh. It wouldn't have been as much. So it all it all depends on um, what you bucket, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. If he I noticed that if you if you bucket one of the fire, it it, it fills it up right away. Oh, because the multi hits? Okay. I, I'm surprised that it just didn't absorb the one hitbox and then just ate it up. Okay. Yeah, but why does it give you that weird uh, animation? You see it? Like, like the close-up? Like if it does super extra damage. Oh, he didn't. He didn't know he didn't have any more uh, red books. <laughs> more fire, fire Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that, like you said, he he needs to space out his attacks from the sword. Like with the sword, oh, that down smash hit above. He was in the air and hit him, and they killed him. Hey man, but I'm I'm not hating on Game Watch. I even though I I I'm not a very big fan of playing against Game Watch. Uh, you just gotta let them do what they do, bro. Just let them camp. Let them camp, and you camp back. You just have to space your stuff. Yeah. You can't just be button mashing on the shield. Anyways, back. Oh, now he's using Byleth. Let's see how he does with that, because Byleth has, like, the best range in the game. Ah, this one's much better. Is it? Yeah, this one's so much better. But now you, you got to be weird. What do you mean I got to be weird? Look, look how your head is. You just look. No, it's it's just because I haven't had enough time to, like, move this. There we go. Okay. See, like, now it's fine. Oh, okay. It's just the wire. I wonder how this matchup is. Let's, let's see how, how it feels. Byleth, Game Watch? Yeah, because, you know, Byleth has all, all the reach in the world. 
That is true. He does lose the sorties. It's um it's extremely difficult for Game Watch to get in all. <clears throat> but it's also like if you just do that. Chef? Yeah, you <laughs> just chef and just wait it out like but also, you gotta remember that Maelith hits like a truck. Yes. It's, so it's like you can't really get a lot of upbees out of shield like as often. Right. Because a lot of these moves just do so much hit stun that you're just like, oh, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck for a little bit. And, and if you notice, uh, Gaming Watch isn't the heaviest character in the game. No. <laughs> definitely By not. any means. You get hit with like one forward smash at like 40%, you're dead. If, it, if your opponent's like just reads, just reads your get-up option like from a mile away and just sits there and just forward smashes you at the ledge, you get like a 40. It's actually ridiculous. There it is. No tried and true. Down smash and forward smash? Down smash, forward smash. I, I want to I see them mix it up. I want to see down smash, up smash. Um, there's, there's different options you can do. One that I found out that was kind of funny was if, it, if you're at low percent and you hit it, like normally you can't really do much, but if you just walk up to them and you like do the, what's the input, the, uh, the short hop input? Uh, if it's like, the, like the jump in A, uh, yeah, that short hop, the, uh -huh. the, like whatever the short hop aerial input is, if you do that for down air, it'll do the damage, but it'll keep them buried. Really? Yeah. Huh. And then they just pop up. So you can do down air and then they pop up and you can do near. I wonder, I, I want to see somebody do uh, down smash into judgment. Down smash and judgment. Yeah, that's possible. You can totally do that, I think. There's some people who've done it before, right? Bro, that'd be the highest thing. Someone hit him with, like, a down air or something and got, like, a tech chase down smash, and then they hit him with a knife. Woo! There's, like, some other crazy stuff you can do. Ooh, a couple of bears. Oh, he could have kept it going. If he would have just waited a little bit, he actually would have kept it going. Oh, okay. Or so. That air is so good. Yeah, the air covers a lot of ground, and if you land with it, it, it's like a. If you land with it at a certain time, like it just does a single hit. Ooh, oh. the chair. Get him with the chair, man. Get WWE. Chair. Oh, yeah, it's 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 for the title, real quick. Nico Katsu, Raven, and Raven. He's playing Robin and Bayleth. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put Bayleth because. Because yeah, you know. Yeah. 